I think there's about as many ways to make rocks in Blender as there are real rocks in the world. But nevertheless, it's time for another Blender rock tutorial. And this, uh, this video is going to be really simple on creating the actual rock, just a simple modifier. And I really want to focus on getting those nice details into a rock, such as like stylized highlighting and cracks and crevices. So if that sounds interesting to you, then let's jump right into Blender and make some rocks. Start with press Shift A, add in an icosphere. Let's subdivide it a little bit. We'll shade it smooth while we're at it. Add a modifier, subdivision surface modifier. You might want to crank up the levels depending on how high of detail you want. Add another modifier, this time choose Displace, and we're going to choose a Voronoi texture for the displacement. We'll set it from actual distance to distance squared. Adjust the size to start carving out a nice rock shape. You can of course rotate, scale, adjust this shape around till it's something resembling a rock that rocks. Create a new shader in the shader editor. I'm using cycles and just have a basic HDRI setup. Press Shift A and add in a Musgrave texture. I'm using the Node Wrangler add-on, which you'll want to enable in your preferences. It allows you to Control Shift click and view a node. Set the scale of the Musgrave down and the detail up and the dimension down to 0.02, something to get a nice rocky look. Plug it into a Mix Color node. Set the bottom color to slightly darker gray so that we get some variation in the color texture. These of course can be whatever color of rock you want it to be. Shifting and duplicate that mix color node, take your original color into the top of this node and set the mix value to something interesting. You can play with different values here. Now add in a noise texture. I'm gonna view my noise texture node and just adjust the scale and detail and roughness of the noise. Feed that into the factor of this other mix color node. And now we can adjust the color that this node is mixing together. You can further emphasize this with a color ramp and squeeze these values together so that your overlaid texture is more prominent. Now I'm going to add an ambient occlusion node. This is where the magic of the rock starts to happen. The ambient occlusion node allows you to take the natural contours or sharpness of the rock and use it in the actual texture of the rock. So I'm going to drop in a color ramp node so we can actually see it and set the distance to 0.3. This allows me to get a nice thick edge around the contours of the rock. I can then use this as a mask to decide where I want parts of this rock to be darker, lighter, more mossy. The point is customization. I'm going to choose kind of a brown darkish color and feed my ambient occlusion into the factor of a mixed color node. Now we can start to see this come together. Maybe you want dirty beat up edges like so. Now what about that nice stylized highlight you see on CG rocks? Let's add one of those. I'm gonna grab an ambient occlusion node again, and this time set the distance down to something really small like 0.01. I'll grab another color ramp node and squeeze these values together till I find a nice thin mask around just the edge of the rock. All the sharp pointy areas of the rock get that nice mask going. You can of course adjust the scale by sliding around the distance value of the ambient occlusion node. I'll then take this and duplicate my mixed color node and this time create a nice highlight color. Feeding this into the factor of that mixed color node and everything we've done into the top and then creating a nice bright yellowish highlight color and I'll set my mixed color node to screen. Now you can see that nice stylized highlight coming through on my rock. Now feeding everything into our principled BSDF, we can really start to see the rock come together. Things are looking good already, but let's add a little bit more detail. I like to crank the roughness all the way down so that I can adjust my spec hits on my rock. So I'm gonna do that and you can see the rock is shiny all over. We'll adjust that later. For now, I'm gonna feed everything into a color ramp node that turns my whole rock black and white. This is just gonna be used as a spec map to decide which parts of my rock get a highlight and which parts fall off into roughness. I'll expand my specular highlight parameters and plug this mask into the IOR level. Now if we view that, you can see we get some nice spec breakup and we can further adjust this with a color ramp. Once that's at a value I'd like, I'll crank up the roughness to a value that's a bit more realistic. 
Now back here at my Musgrave texture, I'll grab the output of that and feed that into a color ramp node. And this will be the noise for my bump map. I'll just find nice black and white value here. You can always add a lot more noise in this section if you prefer to. I'll take this into the height of a bump node, set the strength down, cut it in half, maybe 0.25, and then feed that value into our normal section of our principal BSDF. Now we get some nice bump on our rock shader. And you're done. The rest is just playing with all the values, changing up the color, the noise scale, the highlights, anything you want to really make this rock pop and set it in your scene. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you to all my Patreon members. If you'd like to join my Patreon, you can download this file and many, many other blend files. Link in the description.